Hi, welcome to my second part of uh, linear programming uh, problem video. Here I am going to demonstrate how to get the solution for the server problem which I had uh, formulated in my previous video. I will just uh, use graphical method to get the solution. I have just copy pasted the formulated uh, uh, problem here, here and then now I will uh, just use graphical method to get the solution. In order to get the solution through graphical method, I have to draw the graph and plot these constraints on the graph and get the solution. Now these are inequalities and uh, I will demonstrate how to plot inequalities. Had it been, had these been equations, it would have been easy. But since it's, these are inequalities, what we do is that first we plot the equation part of each of these constraints and then consider the less than part of the inequalities. Now let me demonstrate uh, how to plot these inequalities. I will first take uh, the first uh, constraint 4x1 plus 10x2 equation part of that constraint which is equal to 100 and plot this on the graph. In order to plot any straight line I need two points. I will get those two points by inserting 0 in x1 and get x2 value which here in this case is 10 insert x2 is equal to 0 and get x1 value which in this case is 25 so my two points for this to plot this line are 0 10 and 25 comma 0 now similarly i'll find the two points for uh, each of these constraints for the second constraint 2x1 plus x2 less I'll consider only the equation part first which is equal to 22 for this again I will insert x1 is equal to 0 and get the value of x2 if x1 is equal to 0 x2 is equal to 22 if x2 is equal to 0 x1 is equal to 11 now similarly get two points for the third e in e equation considering only the equation part of that so 3x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 39 is the equation I'll insert x1 is equal to 0 get x2 value as 13 insert x2 is equal to 0 and get x1 value which is 13 so my two points here are 0 comma 22 and 11 comma 0 here it they are 0 comma 13 and 13 comma 0 now i'll i found two points for each of these equations just to find what should be my scale on the graph now easily i know what should be my scale on the graph because i know that least number 0 and the highest number is 25 so accordingly i'll plot my graph now i'll just draw the graph and then I will plot the uh, I will plot the units also till that time I will pause the video. Yeah, now that uh, we I have plotted this graph, I have drawn the first uh, equation too. That is four x one plus ten x two is equal to hundred, for which I had uh, found two points zero, ten, and twenty five zero, which is here, and I connected those two points. And I got a straight line now what this straight line actually means is that any point on this line actually will be equal to 100 that's what this uh, uh, straight line means now we have to I have to show you uh, I have to plot the inequality part that is less than uh, less than part of this first constraint as seen here now how to plot this uh, less than part what we do is that we pick a point to uh, one point below the line and one point above the line and insert in the constraint less than or equal to constraint now let me pick one point from below the line let me pick this 2 comma 2 and insert in the first constraint now if i insert 2 here and 2 here what i'm going to get is 2 into 4 is 8 and 2 into 10 is 20 28 28 is definitely less than 100 which means that 2 comma 2 satisfies the constraint inequality 
which also means that any point below this line will also satisfy the inequality part the constraint the first constraint so i'll just uh, cover this entire uh, area just to denote that it's this is the region which will satisfy the first constraint now similarly i'll plot my second line using a different color pen um, that is 0 comma 22 0 comma 22 is here and uh, 11 comma 0 is here i'll connect these two points and uh, get my second line second line like this now this line is very rough it should not we should not mind now i'll uh, uh, insert 2.2 2 comma 2 again in second inequality now 2 2 into 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6 6 is less than 22 which means that it satisfies this constraint uh, the point satisfies the constraint which also means that any point below this line will definitely satisfy that second constraint now if you observe properly if i pick a point here if i pick a point here let let me just pick 2 comma 12 2 comma 12 which is this point now 2 comma 12 definitely will satisfy the second constraint which i have drawn here but will not satisfy this first constraint because 2 comma 12 is above this line which we already seen that any point above the line will not satisfy the first constraint but it is satisfying the second constraint so it means that any point i pick in this triangle will not will satisfy only the second constraint but not the first constraint similarly if i pick a point here 14 comma 2 14 comma 2 this point this particular point will definitely satisfy the first constraint because this is below the first constraint but it will not satisfy the second constraint as we can see here that this is above this second constraint so any point in this triangle will satisfy only the first constraint but not the second constraints so these two triangles will not satisfy one of the constraints out of the two constraints but if you if i pick in this common region definitely it will satisfy both the constraints now this common region uh, is formed by first and second constraint similarly i'll draw my third constraint which is uh, 0 thir 13 using a different color pen 0 13 is here and uh, here 0 13 is here here i'll connect these two points and get my third line very rough line now this third line when i when i mark when i uh, if i if i insert 2 comma 2 definitely it will satisfy so the area i'm covering this area i'm covering with red ink now the common region the any point in this common region will definitely satisfy all the three constraints but if i pick a point here point here point from this triangle point from this triangle point from this triangle will satisfy will not satisfy one of these constraints which means that these are infeasible regions while this common region is called as feasible region because any point in this feasible region satisfies all the three constraints now if if we have a look at this uh, feasible region i'll use a different color pen to mark this feasible region so this feasible region has got five corner points one corner point here second corner point here third corner point here four corner point here and fifth corner point here now i am going to use uh, corner point method and not objective function approach but corner point approach to get the solution now this corner point is 0 comma 0 first corner point while this corner point is 0 comma 10 second corner point third corner point we will have to calculate this we have to find what this point is using simultaneous equation because this is intersection of two constraints that is first and third constraint this is the third constraint so 
what I'll do is that I'll this is the third constraint I'll find uh, this point by using simultaneous method by solving these two equations first and third equation it is 4x1 plus uh, 10x2 is equal to 100 is the first constraint third constraint is 3x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 39 I'll multiply this with uh, 3 and I'll multiply this with 4 to get a common x1 common coefficient of x1 plus 30 x2 is equal to 300 12 x1 plus 12 x2 is equal to 156 If I solve for this two simultaneous equation equations, I'll get pause this video. I'll solve it for it. Yeah, this feasible region has got five corner points, and we have found the values of these five corner points. This is zero comma zero. This is zero comma ten. This one, since it is intersection of two constraints, first constraint and third constraint, I have solved this uh, using simultaneous equation method and got this point as five comma eight. And this again is an intersection of two constraints that is third constraint and second constraint again i used simultaneous equation method and got this point found this point as 9 comma 4 and this is directly from the graph we can say that that is this is 11 comma 0 now using this five points 0 comma 0 0 comma 10 5 comma 8 9 comma 4 11 comma 0 i'll insert in the objective function which is uh, 60x 1 plus 50 x 2 and find which corner point which of these corner points of the feasible solution feasible region gives the maximum profit now this one if I multiply into 0 plus 15 to 0 it gives me 0 profit now this point gives me 0, 16 to 0 plus 15 to 10 500 dollars profit now this point yeah, 16 to 5 plus 15 into 8 gives me 400 plus 300 700 dollars profit this one is 16 to 9 plus 15 to 4 200 plus 540 which is 740 dollars and this one is 16 to 11 plus 15 to 0 which fetches me 660 rupees profit so we can see that 9,4 is the one which uses the maximum profit so i'll what i'll do is that i'll just mark this as my optimal answer the best answer and this as my optimal point wherein which says that i have to i can manufacture i have to manufacture nine units of units of the value of 9 4 in all the three constraints what do I what I'm going to get is 4 into 9 plus this I'm inserting in the first constraint that is 4 x 1 plus 10 x 2 is less than 100 to check how many hours do I require actually in assembly section to manufacture 9 units of uh, x 1 and uh, 4 units of x 2 4 into 9 and 10 into um, 4 will give me uh, 36 plus 40 is equal to 76 which is definitely less than 100 now it could have been uh, 100 but it is 76 which means that we are utilizing only 76 hours out of 100 hours in assembly section which also means that we will have 24 hours of slack in assembly section similarly if i insert in second equation which is uh, 2x1 2 into 9 plus 1 into 4 it gives me 22 which is exactly equal to the right hand side 22 which means that i'm consuming entire 22 hours in inspection uh, section and finally 3 into 9 plus, plus 3 into 4 actually gives me 12 plus 27 which is again 39 which is equal to the right hand side of 39 which means that we are utilizing entire 39 cubic feet of space 
Now these two equations wherein we right hand side is equal to left hand side wherein we are completely utilizing the right hand side uh, resources 22 hours and 39 cubic feet, uh, cubic feet of space uh, are called as binding constraints because these two constraints if we can observe from the graph we can observe from the graph that these two are the constraints that is second and third constraints were the constraints which gave us this optimal point now optimal point whichever uh, constraints gives us optimal point are called as binding constraints because here there will be no slack and non-binding constraint there is 24 hours of slack so this is non-binding constraint now finally it means that i i can i have to manufacture nine units of type 1 server four units of type 2 server and i get profit of 740 dollars thank you for watching my video if you like the video press the thumbs up button thank you bye